Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, as always, welcome back. Sam here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. This is one of their new releases this week. This kit along with the other new releases is going to be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, January 14th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you are in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window. So you will have access to the new release beginning at 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern. So the kit I have to share with you all today, which by the way, thank you Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you all ahead of the weekend. This kit is a kind of magic. You know what I'm super excited about with this kit? Maria Abanyal, I am over the moon. I have been so excited about this artist coming to Diamond Art Club. Um, I've worked on kits from this artist, from other companies, and I just felt like, you know what, Diamond Art Club could totally do this artist justice. So I just about leapt out of my chair when I saw that we're finally, finally getting this artwork at Diamond Art Club. Her artwork's been in the polls several times. It is so bright, so amazing. And here we have the very first one hopefully the first of many. So uh, the diamond shape on this one's going to be round. It's 20 by 23 inches or 50.7 by 58.8 centimeters. I love the size. I love that it's round drills. That really makes this kit pretty beginner friendly. I feel like even if you're not a beginner, it's really nice because it'll work out quickly. And of course, I think Diamond Art Clothes Rendering Style is going to do it justice at any size. So on the back, there's some info about how to diamond paint, the kit contents. And then here on the side is a QR code that if you scan will give you 10% uh, off coupon. So be sure to scan that to save a little bit of money. Now, if you are brand, brand new to Diamond Art Club and looking at making your very, very first purchase, um, I actually have a code for 20% off. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And that saves you 20% off your first purchase. It is, however, an affiliate code, so please don't feel obligated to use it because I may make a small commission. However, if you do, thank you so much in advance. All I say, though, is just don't pay full price for your Diamond Art Club order because there are discount codes everywhere. You're going to see several in this video alone. So we've got our kit and lots of our kit contents in there. And then we've got our toolkit here. So this is one of the newer toolkits that they started phasing in around a year and a half ago. And it's kind of everything you need to do your diamond painting. Let me just show you real quick. So we're going to have a pen and squishy. The color may vary on these. That's a pretty burgundy, actually. Uh, we're going to get some pink wax, shape of a heart. Be sure you take off that thin plastic film before you try to load up your pen. You're also going to get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers. I believe a four and a seven placer if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. You're also gonna get a white tray. Uh, this is a slight change that they've been implementing with these newer toolkits lately. They, uh, Some of the newer toolkits come with clear trays with gold sparkles. But they're moving over to these ones after some feedback that it was hard to see the drills very well <laughs> and the clear ones actually. This is not a mistake piece of plastic. This is actually a tray stopper that just pops right in there and helps prevent the trays from, or the drills from sliding out. Uh, and then we have a bag of baggies. If you wanna store your leftover diamonds in those you can or kit up into them, I suppose you can. These last two pieces, these are, uh, these have variety. So uh, this and over here is a cover minder. There's actually, there's magnets on the back. So if you peel the one off, slide it under the section of the canvas you're working on, peel back the plastic cover and set this down on top. It holds back the plastic cover of the area you're working on and it looks super cute as well. So the style on this can vary quite a bit. There's lots of different kinds of cover minders out there. This is a roll of washi tape. I have a video dedicated to how I use washi tape uh, and demos it for you and everything. The print on this is going to vary, but you can use this to cover up the uh, border of the canvas, like where any glue goes past the edge of the drill field. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas. So lots of goodies in their toolkits, including some bonuses, but really everything you're going to need to do your diamond painting. Also included is this smaller logbook sticker. Uh, I do use this in my paper logbook once I've started a kit. You can also use it on the side of your box to help organize your stash a bit. Or uh, you can find something else artistic to do with it if you like. But I like that it has the original artwork, the name of the artist, and all of that. So let's take a look at this kit. I am so stoked that we have our first kit at Diamond Art Club from this artist. I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Uh, the canvas backing, they've been making some upgrades too as well. It's now even softer than it was before, and I love it. Look at those 
colors. Oh my gosh. She's so vibrant and gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, so if your canvas wants to roll back at the edges like this, don't fret. That's pretty normal. That kind of just happens with the nature of the packing process. However, there's a couple of ways you can take care of it. One is to just wait because Diamond Art Club's canvases are self flattening. It'll lay flat on its own over time. Or since Diamond Art Club uses poured glue, has a nice quality canvas, you can just roll it backwards and that will help it lay flat as well. So there we go. Now we can see her in all of her adorable glory. Those colors, I'm telling you, the vibrant neon colors. I am dying to see how Diamond Art Club actually does her artwork justice. <laughs> so you are also going to get in your kit a thank you note from the founder and some helpful info in this pamphlet, including what's included in your kit. Um, a QR code that takes you to a beginner video. I will also link to a step-by-step -step beginner video that I've done as well in the description box. The VIP group. I recommend joining this Facebook group once you have made your first purchase from Diamond Art Club. It's a really nice resource and community. We get lots of behind the scenes and early info from Diamond Art Club, so definitely recommend joining there. Step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, along with some tips and tricks and yet another discount code. And then info about the mobile app. Definitely recommend downloading the mobile app on your iPhone or Android <laughs> and you'll get 20% off your first purchase. You can sign up for push notifications for restock sales, that sort of thing. It's really, really handy. So uh, you're also gonna get this larger sticker sheet. It's got the title again, A Kind of Magic by Maria Abanyal, which I may be mispronouncing her last name. I do apologize if so. There's a spot to write your start and end date. A beautiful look at the original artwork that I absolutely adore. Round shaped diamonds, there's the size again and the skew. And then over here, you guys, we have a set of pre-cut stickers. You can see how they're kind of, they're cut there already for you. You can use these to kit up if you put the diamonds into storage containers or something like that, or baggies. Um, you're gonna have to cut open the heat sealed bags that Diamond Art Club sends their drills in. Uh, and so I like that these are pre-cut for you. It makes the kitting up process go very quickly. The color code that you see over in the right column, this is the same as the DMC color code. Most diamond painting companies use this color code system. It comes from the DMC floss brand. And uh, the exception though is in Diamond Art Club's numbering system, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll tell you more about those later, but it looks like we're gonna have three of those. I'm also seeing this K796. So that tells me we're gonna have another kind of a special drill going on somewhere in this kit. And we'll be sure to take a look at that once we're actually looking at the diamonds. But first I wanna take a closer look at the canvas with you guys, show off some parts of it. So up here at the top, we have their branding, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas, they are scalloped and finished. That is not fraying, that is just where it was cut. Literally I'm pulling at it and nothing is happening. You are not gonna have to worry about fraying on your Diamond Art Club canvas at all. Uh, so yeah, literally that's just a rough cut. And there we go. Uh, so the back again is super, super soft. The material itself is very thick, uh, but it's very malleable and sturdy. So it holds drills really well and lays flat well. Uh, they use port glue, like I mentioned on their canvases. There's a bit of a sparkle to it, which is fun. And you can see where it goes just a tiny bit past the edge of the drill field. That's where I was talking about laying down just a layer, a border of washi tape that goes right up to the drill field. So dirt and dust doesn't get stuck in there. Um, I really like Diamond Art Club's poured glue a lot. It's very forgiving and it's really plush to work on. And then it holds the drills really well once you've placed them and it's set as well. So love Diamond Art Club's glue and canvas. We have a legend over here at the top left, 40 colors in this canvas. We have the same legend over here at the bottom right. Again, this is a really nice beginner friendly canvas, I feel like. Uh, here is the bottom, at the bottom left, we have the thumbnail of the original artwork. All of the info again, a kind of magic, the size, and then always and always gonna, always and forever gonna point out copyrights. So Diamond Art Club does legally license every single piece that they release. That includes this one. So that means that Maria has both given permission for the use of her artwork by Diamond Art Club and is being fairly compensated. So there's a lot of art theft out there, unfortunately. So I'm always going to shout out companies that are doing right by artists. Here at the bottom, we've got their socials. Be sure to follow them on Facebook and or Instagram so you can stay up to date with new releases and other surprises and fun stuff. There's another discount code. <laughs> and then at the bottom right, there is info about their lifetime warranty. So as long as you are the original purchaser and owner of the kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. Uh, that includes if you run out of drills anywhere, 
If you have any issues with your canvas or anything at all, contact them and they will get you taken care of. So looking at this canvas, these colors are giving me life. This is so bright and happy. Uh, there is a fair amount of confetti in this piece from what I'm seeing so far. Confetti is when you have lots of color changes in a small area like here. So you'll mostly be single placing probably in those areas uh, and changing out the color in your tray more often. We do have a couple of sections of what we call color blocking, which is the opposite large sections of the same color here. Uh, you can use your multi-placer through here and have that color in your tray for longer. So I like to have both in my kits, honestly, when I'm working on them because um, color blocking keeps it moving, but confetti does keep it interesting. And confetti, you really need to get a nice level of detail. So I just want both. We have this nice color blocked background going on back here. Is that what that special drill symbol was? <gasps> Is it gonna be a blue crystal? Are we gonna have a blue crystal that is the ocean? I'm gonna put money, I think that's what it's gonna be, you guys. I'm gonna put money on that. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the three dots. My money's on a blue crystal. <laughs> but we'll take a look in just a minute. Let's do a quick measurement first though. Let's see if we're true to size. Usually we are with Diamond Art Club's canvases, but I am always looking to check, just in case, just in case. We're at about 50 and a half centimeters left to right. It's listed as, um, 50.7 so yeah i'm gonna call that true to size and then top to bottom we are at oops shifted there uh 50 almost 59 centimeters and we're listed as 58.8 so true to size again really not shocking so <laughs> we'll just enjoy having her in the background we gotta look at these diamonds you guys so oh look it's already it's right there We'll look that closer in just a second, but there's our special drill. There's our special drill. It's a blue crystal. Okay, so a kind of magic is the name on this one again. Uh, so there is the sticker label here. So if you store the diamonds separate from the canvas outside of the box they came in, it's easy enough to match those up again later. All right, so here's our color spread of diamonds. Those colors are incredible. See, they do exist in the DMC. I can't wait, I can't wait. So we have this random little strand that just has two. <laughs> two vibrant, one vibrant shade of pink and a nice pale pink. Maybe that's in her skin tone. And then let's take a look at these. So we're starting off with this nice vibrant orange. This is totally gonna have, you're hearing me say vibrant a lot. This is gonna have some really, really bright and fantastic colors. Then we have one, two, three bags of K796. This is, ooh, wait, not a crystal. That's a blue metallic. <gasps> what? <gasps> I thought, it, I wait, I can't tell, I can't tell. Okay, I'll just double check on the wording uh, because Diamond Art Club calls their special drills different things. That looks, I think that that's metallic with that clear bottom, or sorry, that opaque bottom. <gasps> so I'm not sure if they're gonna call these um, iridescent. I will double check and I'll note in the description box, but these have a metallic effect from what I am seeing. Not, I don't think that's a crystal. <gasps> you guys three big bags of this special drill. So the color is obviously not that like ivory bottom that you're seeing. That's just making sure that it's covering up the symbol entirely behind that amazing, amazing blue color. <gasps> Anyone else just get really excited about this kit? <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks amazing. That's gonna be so striking. <gasps> okay, so then we have this pretty pale pink. And then you guys, here we have an AB. So not only do we have a bunch of this blue metallic drill, we also have some ABs. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights, just like the Northern Lights have a really fabulous color shift, iridescent effect. The, the tops, the coating on these diamonds is super sparkly and is reflecting a variety of colors going on here. So uh, the areas these have been charted are going to catch your eye. They're just even more sparkly than regular diamonds are and are just gonna have a really striking effect. So that is our first of three ABs. Then we have some more peachy oranges, some more blues. Love, love, love these corals and pinks, a pretty aqua, dark aqua. Wow, those colors. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so good. This is what we need from this artwork. Yes. All right. You guys, here is our second AB. This is 114. Look at that amazing cherry red AB. That's stunning. That's absolutely stunning. I love it and I'm here for it. Love it, love it, love it. And then we've got 948. 
a little off white. So we have this strand. Now Diamond Arco puts their drills in these strands roughly in order of weight, not in DMC order. And I've never run out of any colors. Um, and if you do, if you run short on any colors, if you spill, you can contact Diamond Art Club. Here's our third and final AB, 111. Look at that pretty fuchsia. What kind of like a dark pink? Love that. Then we have some more really vibrant shades, red, gray, yellow, off-white. Look at that burgundy and then that green, that Kelly green. Some more pinks. Some shades of purple, a tiny little bag of 310. A little straggler in there, that's okay. A yellow, off-white, and then a tiny bag of 939 and 336. So let's take a look at these special drills. Sure enough, that blue metallic is all through this background. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be amazing. <gasps> yeah, so almost all of this background is that blue metallic uh and here as well so in her hair there's some different shades of blue in her hair and so some of this is just a, a regular blue drill i think yeah 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 it is yeah but the darkest blue you're seeing all throughout and up at the top as well so i don't see the blue metallic anywhere like in any of the blues, like not in her eyes, not the dark blues in her hair, none of that. It seems to be exclusively the background, like the ocean. Ugh. What is that effect going to be like? That's going to be so striking. And you know what? Artwork like this calls for really striking, bold things like that. I love how Diamond Art Club is continuously trying new things, including like adding in metallics, adding in crystals, adding in iridescent, like just amazing amazing drills and so i'm here for that i love it love it love it now we had three ab's we're gonna go back through and i'm gonna point out where the ab's are gonna go so that really amazing cherry red ab is highlighting in her lips and is highlighting the brightest red of our fish friend here the pink ab is the bottom part of her glasses and the blue ab is some of that like middle to dark blue shade in her sunglasses and that blue ab is also that is highlighting in her hair so we're gonna have some of like the metallic is right here but then we're also gonna have like some ab's real close to it doing lots of amazing highlighting i think is it gonna be all throughout her hair i see it there i see some of the blue ab in her eyes and over here as well Ooh, let me make sure I'm not I'm missing you with glare. There's some blue, yeah, right there. Blue ABs here in her eyes, or in the sunglasses and then in her eyes. And then, it, yeah, highlighting all throughout her hair. So her hair is gonna have basically one of these shades of blue all throughout is gonna be an AB. I love it. That's gonna look amazing. Uh, this gold fresh fish friend has lots of the red AB. The brightest red you're seeing, almost looks orange in camera, is a red AB. Am I missing the pink AB? Is the pink AB only in her sunglasses? I want to make sure I'm not overlooking it. There's a lot of really bright, happy, vibrant colors going on in here. So, okay, I do see a little bit of the pink AB in here and over here, just a little bit in this kind of this coral, or is that like a hairpiece she's wearing? Is it a coral hairpiece that she's wearing? Uh, a tiny bit, like four of the red ABs here, a bunch of the red AB here and the octopus's arm and right here and the octopus's arm. And, and then this fish friend up here, the orangish color that you're seeing is actually a red AB. Oh, this, you guys, this in the background, that's the pink AB. Yeah, these little strands down here as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Not this one, or not this one, but yes, this one is the pink AB, as is over here. <gasps> How's that pink AB gonna look right next to that blue metallic? Oh my gosh, you guys, this piece is going to be magical. Pun 100% intended with the title of this piece being A Kind of Magic. This is an amazing debut piece from this artist at Diamond Art Club and I cannot wait to work on this. I want to work on this sooner rather than later. Part of me is very tempted to kit it up right this very second because I need to know how these blue metallics are going to look with those pink drills right there. 
We'll see you guys. We'll see. I'm about to fly out of town for the weekend, but I need to know. Like, I really, 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 really need to know. She's absolutely incredible. Diamond Art Club, it looks like you have knocked it out of the park with the rendering. The colors look on point. This is what I want from this artist when I'm doing a diamond painting from her. And the special drills, like, I'm, I'm blown away. I think that that blue metallic is going to be unreal and I cannot wait to see how this looks. So you guys, just to give you a quick recap, title on this piece is A Kind of Magic. This is the first piece we're seeing from Maria Abanyala at Diamond Art Club. And it is 20 by 23 inches or 50.7 by 58.8 centimeters, 42 colors, round drills, three ABs and one metallic or I, I'm trying to remember if Diamond Art Club, what they call them, iridescent drills. Uh, but that's kind of the effect. It has a kind of a metallic sheen on the top. And this is one you guys don't want to sleep on. Set those alarms. This is releasing tomorrow, which is Saturday, uh, January 4th. 14th at 9:30 a.m pacific 12 30 p.m eastern don't forget if you're in the ruby or diamond tier you do get that half an hour early access window now we don't know ahead of time which kits are going to be listed as limited edition at release um and some may even change to limited edition after release time so i highly recommend that if you do want this piece or any of the other new releases to set your alarms and snag whatever you need because it may be gone before you know it. So best of luck to you if you're shopping. I really hope that this sneak peek was helpful for you in deciding if this kit's on your wish list for the weekend. Um, if it is, and it should be, good luck to you <laughs> and happy shopping. Uh, thank you again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over and thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and had fun, please give it a thumbs up before you head out. And of course, if you wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and I I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.